Hello learners, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to discuss about the PLSQL functions. But in the previous video, I have discussed about the PLSQL procedure. So if you have any issues, you can uh, refer that video. Uh, so there are few similarities uh, with the procedures. So anyway, uh, first of all, we will see what is the function. So function is a sub program which returns a single value, mainly used to compute and return value. So that is the definitions of the function. The main feature is uh, it will return a value. But in the procedure, uh, uh, that uh, does not return any value. That is the main difference between functions and the procedures. Then uh, we will see the syntax of the uh, functions. You can see uh, a function name specify the name of the function or replace options allow the modification of an existing function. Uh, the optional parameter list contains names more than type of the parameters in represent uh, the value that will be passed from outside and out represent the parameter that will use to return a value outside of the procedure or a function. Uh, the other thing is the function must contain a return statement that is very important and that, that should that is must. So the return clause specify the data type you are going to return from the function. So that thing you have to mention and function body contains the executable part and uh, the as keyword is used to instead of the is keyword for creating a standalone function. So that is the basic syntax of the uh, PLSQL function. Then we will see uh, how to implement these functions in the PLSQL programming in Oracle 19C database. So for that I have installed Oracle 19C database in my uh, personal machine. So I have connected to that uh, database using system. So uh, before that uh, actually uh, I have a sample table created which uh, 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 which inserted few records. So first of all we will see that uh, table okay so expand that table menu and there is a customer table so to get that data you can write simple uh, select statement like this select all from customers okay so uh, select all from um, customers from that you can uh, return the uh, existing data you can see i have inserted few records in addition to that there is multiple options so i will explain one option so simply click on this customer table once you expand this table menu you can click on that customer table then you can see uh, the uh, new tab will open so under this tab you can see different menus you can get the column uh, data model constraints grant statistics triggers and a lot of things indexes and the SQL so simply you can get those information so by default we have five columns uh, you can see with the data type nullable and default those things so uh, so if you uh, go to that data menu you can see the available data is available so after that you can see uh, the SQL syntax you can get if you click on this SQL menu it will take some time you can see uh, it will generate your SQL script for the table. So anyway, we have some data of our customer table. Then uh, I have created the uh, sample uh, table. So uh, using the sample uh, data of that table, I will create a simple function. So okay, uh, now I will show you how to uh, create a function and how to execute that. Uh, functions in the SQL uh, Oracle uh, database. Uh, so for that I have uh, uh, create a separate function in my uh, notepad. So I will copy and paste that uh, functions into my uh, SQL developer. For that I will open separate uh, SQL worksheet. Uh, to open a separate SQL worksheet you can click on this uh, button. Then it will open uh, the connections uh, through the system connection. Then click on that then uh, I already I have copied that uh, function then right click on that and click on the paste you can see uh, uh, I have paste that function function name is total customer so create or replace 
if there is a function then you can uh, modify the existing function using replace if there is no any such function then it will create a function then return number is uh, there's the re there should be a return type uh, in the function so total number uh, data type is number uh, up to two digits we can store the initialization value is zero then yeah, with the begin statement it will start the function so you can see uh, uh, we are executing select count select uh, count all uh, into total it means we are taking the count uh, from the customers table and assigning to the total variable which we uh, initialized earlier this variable so after that we will return this total value from the function so that is the total customers function so uh, i think you have clear about that one so if you have any questions you can comment on that so anyway i will uh, execute and create these functions in the functions menu okay so uh, before that i will show you that functions menu there is no such total customers functions there are few system uh, functions anyway i will execute this function and uh, then uh, you can see functions total customers compiled so if you uh, refresh this uh, functions menu you can see total customer function is available again if you double click on that you can get that information so likewise you can create the function okay then i will write a separate uh, plsql block to execute uh, that function so for that i will open the separate sql worksheet like this and you can see uh, so i will take my plsql sample block from my notepad and paste into the SQL developer worksheet. So anyway, so uh, in this PLSQL book, what happen is we declare the variable. The variable name is C number two. Then with the begin statement, we have a start the execution section. So you can see we are calling to total customers, and that value is assigned to the C variable. Then after that, it will print through that DBMS output line. Uh, total number of customers is six. So as I explained earlier, you can see in the customer tables, there are six records. So that uh, value should be displayed when I am executing this uh, function. Okay. So then anyway, we will see the output once we execute. So you can see PLSQL procedure successfully completed. So anyway, uh, we haven't uh, connect to that DBMS output. I will connect to DBMS output. So like this, if you couldn't open that DBMS output, go to the view and select that DBMS output. From that, you can open your DBMS output. Anyway, I will uh, execute it again. So you can see total number of customers is six. So successfully, you have compiled and execute that DBMS output. Okay, so I think you have clear understanding about that one. Then in addition to that, I will create a separate uh, the, another example using the function with the parameter modes okay for that i will open uh, separate uh, email worksheet so i will copy and paste that example uh, from my uh, notepad okay hope you can see my uh, code clearly anyway okay so one by one I will explain. So this is something like uh, uh, procedure, but only thing is there is a return value. And uh, yeah, that's the main difference. But in the previous video, we have discussed about the procedure. There is no such return value. That is the main difference. So if you have any questions with that, you can refer that video with the procedure. Okay, then I will explain this one. So. In the declaration sections, you can see uh, I have declared three variables a, b, c. So after that, I have created a function called find max. The uh, x is the variable and it's an input uh, mode variable. It's a number type and y is the input type, number type and return number. So after that, uh, it will return the number type variable. Then it is z. Z is the uh, output, the return uh, variable. So after that, yeah, it will start with the begin statement so after begin we have a if uh, else statement if x greater than y then z is x else z is y and if it will end the 
if statement with the end if statement after that uh, it will return the is it then it will uh, end this uh, function okay so likewise uh, you can implement that function so the function name is find max so after that we have execute another plsql block with the begin statement and we are passing two variables for that uh, function first one is a it is 23 b is 45 so both uh, we have assigned both uh, we have assigned values for both variables after that we call into this find max uh, function and passing parameters a and b what are the values of the a and b 23 45 so that value assigned to the c it means when we are passing this a and b it will match with the a match with the x b match with the y then it will uh, go to that uh, function body and execute that one so according to that conditions uh, it will return 23 as a z value that value assigned to the c variable then after that that uh, 23 will be print from this statement i think uh, you have clear understand about that so the, those are very simple so if you have any questions you can ask there are a lot of examples available in the youtube and other uh, webs so please refer my previous video if you have any issues with that uh, implementing variables if statements or procedures or hello world examples thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, in the next videos where uh, we will see some advanced plsql programming techniques thank you